The Cockerill IX is an armored fighting vehicle manufactured by the Belgian company John Cockerill Defense. It is a 4x4 vehicle with stealth capabilities, representing a breakthrough in combat systems tailored for territorial defense interception. The IX serves as a land stealth ground vehicle that can be equipped with various weapon platforms, ranging from 25 30th millimeter autocannons to missiles. This modular and highly mobile ground-based weapon system is designed to intercept aerial threats such as drones and missiles. Featuring a 4x4 vehicle with stealth capabilities, the IX is built on a lightweight chassis originally designed for rally cars, providing high mobility and agility. It features advanced optics, radar, and fire control systems for target acquisition and tracking. The vehicle has a modified infrared signature and integrates onboard AI and a smart helmet for the driver and crew, enabling them to operate in conjunction with cameras, night vision, thermal imagers, laser warning systems, and other detection and tracking devices. The IX employs a multi-weapon system that can be armed with various weapons to engage various threats on the battlefield. This innovative ground-based air defense system represents a breakthrough in combat systems tailored for territorial defense interception purposes. The Laguan Bridge Layer is an armored vehicle launch bridge system used by several militaries, including Germany and Finland. It is designed to rapidly deploy and retrieve sturdy bridges across ditches, small water obstacles, and other gaps, enabling the movement of troops and heavy vehicles. This system enables rapid tactical bridging operations, allowing armored and mechanized forces to maintain momentum and cross obstacles that would otherwise slow or halt their advance. The Laguan Bridge Layer is equipped with advanced features such as distance measuring instruments and thermal imaging devices, enabling it to operate efficiently during both day and night conditions. The Laguan Leopard 2 variant, in particular, is capable of laying bridges up to 26 meters long, utilizing these advanced optics and thermal imaging capabilities. Additionally, the Laguan Bridge Layer offers superior crew protection and interoperability with various user countries, making it a versatile asset in military operations. It can also be equipped with ferry and floating bridge add-on kits, enhanced enhancing its capabilities for disaster relief operations. The Hyundai Rotom Next Gen Tank, also known as the NGMBT Next Generation Main Battle Tank, is an advanced tank concept being developed by the prominent South Korean company Hyundai Rotom. It was first unveiled as a model at the DX Korea Exhibition in 2022, showcasing Hyundai Rotom's vision for a cutting-edge next generation MBT. Hyundai is creating this NGMBT to respond to the future battlefield environment and the fourth industrial revolution. With over 55 tons of weight, the tank aims to integrate innovative technology Technologies like AI for autonomous driving to maximize crew safety. Key features envisioned include a locally produced active protection system with sensors to identify and neutralize threats, a crude turret, a high-pressure 130mm cannon, a 12.7mm machine gun for formidable firepower, a drone jammer, a missile launcher, and a landing system for rotary wing unmanned aerial vehicles. The NGMBD concept incorporates cutting-edge technologies like hydrogen fuel cells and advanced AI systems to provide superior protection, mobility, and firepower capabilities for future operations. While details remain scarce, Hyundai Rotom plans to unveil a prototype by 2030 as part of its broader next-generation military vehicle development efforts, including a wheeled armored vehicle program. The II Rotom L, also known as the II Rotom Light, is an Israeli loitering munition or kamikaze drone developed by Israel Aerospace Industries II. It is a portable, lightweight system designed to give ground troops precision strike capability. The compact Rotom L weighs around 5 kilograms with a 1 meter wingspan. It can loiter for up to 30 minutes while the operator uses its electro optic slash infrared camera feed to locate targets. Upon identifying a target, the operator can fly the Rotom L into it for an explosive 
massive kamikaze strike using its one kilogram warhead, equivalent to two fragmentation grenades, intended for tactical use. The Rotom L provides infantry forces an organic, man portable option for precision strikes against light armor, fortified positions, or surface targets without requiring air support. It has a maximum range of 10 kilometers and can be operated by a single soldier. The Rotom L offers operational flexibility. If a mission is aborted, it can safely land and be reused, unlike some other loitering munitions. In September 2023, I unveiled the upgraded Rotom Alpha model with improved endurance of 60 minutes, 40 kilometers range, and a 2.5 kilograms anti-tank warhead. The Rotom series provides versatile loitering munition capabilities and a compact, portable package tailored for modern ground forces operating in complex environments. The Malloy Aeronautics T-400 is an impressive heavy-lift autonomous cargo drone with a remarkable payload capacity of 180 kilograms, which is equal to 400 pounds. Designed to operate in all weather conditions, this versatile drone serves various purposes, from civilian to military applications. While the T-400 is a dual-use UV suitable for both civilian and military needs, Malloy Aeronautics, an ISO 9001 certified company based near London, company predominantly marked markets it as a military drone. Key features of the T-400 include its removable cargo bay, allowing for quick payload swaps, and its ability to reliably operate in challenging weather conditions. Whether delivering essential supplies like food, water, and medical resources or supporting military missions, the T-400 plays a crucial role in airborne logistics. Interestingly, drones have evolved beyond their destructive roles, and the T-400 exemplifies their utility in logistics and supply chain operations. However, it provides a secure space for one fighter, enclosed by a transparent lid, which could be a notable flaw. During battle evacuations, the drone becomes an easy target, and surprisingly, the manufacturer didn't even include a red cross on its fuselage to identify it as a non-combatant. The vehicle named Robotic Autonomous Sense and Strike, or Robust for short, this was developed by Elbit Systems for the Israeli Ministry of Defense. And it is as robust in design as it is in name. This uncrewed ground vehicle uses advanced robotic technologies to expand Israel's autonomous combat capabilities in all terrain and all weather battlefield conditions. It's a 6x6 six six advanced wheel. Vehicle featuring advanced maneuvering capabilities, it has the capacity to transport diverse and heavy mission. Loads on top of this, it has an integrated integrated system for transporting and receiving uncrewed aerial vehicles. This adds to its credentials for future-proofing into remote warfare. The robust focuses on operational effectiveness, simplicity, and limited operator involvement. It weighs more than 5 tons and is armed with a 30 mm autonomous turret developed by the Tank and APC Directorate for the EN Armored Personnel Carrier. On top of this, it also features a Let's Iron Fist Active, Protection System Fire, Control and Mission Management Systems, and Robotic Autonomous kit this in addition to situational awareness systems for forward reconnaissance missions there's also a capsule drone on board the robust is driven by a virtual driver based on an edge ai powered autonomous driving module the virtual driver uses state-of-the-art 3d visualization and passive sensing systems for visual and thermal sensing this allows the UGV to plan its path detect obstacles and dynamically adjust its route in real time all completely autonomously it's not just the driving that comes automated the vehicle also features a virtual gunner that's equipped with capabilities for automatic target recognition, auto tracking for multiple targets, a smart fire plan, and context-based target prioritization. This represents some of the most sophisticated technology on board a remote vehicle. The Ariane Smet is a versatile and capable unmanned ground vehicle, huge EV, developed by Hanwha Defense, a South Korean defense company. It stands for Autonomous and Robotic Systems for Intelligence Off-Road Navigation, with Smet representing small multipurpose equipment transport. The Ariane Smet is fully electric-powered, with an impressive range of 100 kilometers on a single charge. Its mobility is very good, with maximum speeds of 43 kilometers per hour on paved roads and 34 kilometers per hour on un 
paved terrain. It has a hybrid electric-slash-diesel propulsion system that allows for extended range and silent operations using just the electric motors when desired. Designed for a wide range of military, security, and industrial missions, the Arion Smed excels at reconnaissance, surveillance, transportation, and various other tasks. Different sensor payloads like cameras, thermal imagers, and ground-penetrating radar can be integrated for specific mission requirements. The 600 kilograms vehicle can carry an additional payload of up to 300 kilograms. The UGV has autonomous navigation modes like waypoint following and soldier following, as well as capabilities for teleoperations, tethered control, and operator training. It can operate across diverse environments, including off-road, urban areas, and indoor settings. The Ariane Smet recently completed successful field testing and evaluation by the U.S. Army and U.S. Marine Corps in early 2024, demonstrating its full range of capabilities for the U.S. military customer. It is one of several advanced UGV models by Arion Robotics meeting demands for unmanned reconnaissance and transport platforms. Raphael's Trophy Active Protection System is indeed an advanced defensive technology for armored vehicles. It is designed to detect, track, and neutralize incoming threats such as anti-tank missiles, rocket-propelled grenades, and recoilless rifles in their terminal phase before impact. It uses radar systems to detect and track the incoming threats, and then fires a shotgun-like blast of metal pellets to destroy or deflect the threat away from the vehicle. It provides 360-degree rotational protection around the vehicle against simultaneous threats from multiple directions. The system is designed to work automatically with minimal user intervention required to operate it. It has been successfully integrated on the Israeli Merkava main battle tanks, as well as the Namer armored personnel carriers. Several other countries, including the United States, have shown interest in acquiring trophy systems to enhance protection for their armored vehicle fleets. The ability to intercept threats while they are still relatively far from the vehicle provides a key survivability advantage compared to conventional passive armor. The trophy system represents a major leap in active protection capabilities for armored forces by allowing them to defeat advanced anti-tank weapons in a technologically sophisticated manner. Inflatable military decoys are mock-up replicas of military equipment like tanks, missile systems, and aircraft designed to mislead enemy forces through tactical deception. First used during World War II to deceive the German army, these airfill rubber pieces are still employed by NATO members today. Companies like the Czech firm Inflatec specialize in producing realistic, lifelike inflatable replicas that mimic the appearance and radar signatures of genuine military hardware from a distance. Inflatec decoys are life size, low weight, portable, rapidly deployable, and cost-effective, providing a tactical advantage on the battlefield. The company produces over 50 inflatable tanks per month, each weighing around 100 kilograms yet requiring only 4 people and 10 minutes to set up. While an actual military tank can cost upward of $100,000, the decoys offer an affordable alternative, with Inflateca's sales increasing 30% as of last year. These inflatable structures serve as strategic deception tools by confusing opponents about the true disposition and strength of forces. They create a perceived numerical superiority, drawing enemy fire away from real assets and critical operations. The Baobab K is an impressive automated mine-laying system developed by the Polish defense company Huda Stoloa Walla in collaboration with its partners. It is mounted on a highly mobile and armored Jelks 662 D.438x8 truck chassis. The system is designed to rapidly deploy a variety of anti-tank and anti-personnel mines from a ground control station, allowing for remote operation and reducing risk to personnel. The Baobab K can create scattered anti-tank barrier minefields of varying sizes, densities, and self-destruction times to strategically hinder armored vehicles and other military targets. The fully automated mine-laying process allows seamless switching between transport and combat modes. The vehicle is equipped with six mine launchers, throwers, that can hold up to 20 cassettes each, with each cassette containing five anti-tank mines, giving a total capacity of 600 mines. It can also be fitted with 881mm smoke grenade launchers. The system's control system enables 
enable supervision and management of the mine laying process in both automatic and manual modes from the ground control station. The Polish Army has placed an order for 24 Baobab K systems worth $123 million from HSW.